Hi guys, so today's video is going to be a drugstore makeup look. This is just a super simple step-by-step -step tutorial. Basically it's showing you guys how I do my brows, my blush, my contour, everything using drugstore products. You can add or minus things to accommodate you and what you want for the day, but this is just what I came up with. I think this is a great everyday look, something I would do for every day if you had the time, of course. This is definitely not a running late look, but I've had a lot of requests to use more drugstore products in my videos, so I figured this would be a great way to kind of sit down and show you guys some products I've been really loving lately and they're all from the drugstore. So now that you guys know what the video is going to be about, it's time to introduce you to a new member of my little family. I'm so excited. I'm moving in two weeks and I know I probably shouldn't have got another dog right now, but I'm moving and I went to the pound because I saw her on Facebook. Her name is Rose. I'm about to show you guys. I saw Rose on Facebook and I was like, oh my god. I have to have her. I know some people are like, oh my gosh, you have three dogs now? I have to say, one thing you guys probably don't know about me is I was raised around a ton of dogs. Like, we had eight dogs at one point, and then one of them had a litter of, like, ten. We had so many dogs at one point, and I was actually raised around Dalmatians. Those were, like, the main dogs that we had. She is actually a Great Pyrenees Dalmatian mix, we do believe. She's only four months old, and she's huge, like ginormous. Look at that face. I mean, come on. How could you leave that face? Look, do you see yourself? Oh. But she is ginormous for four months. She's going to be a big girl. She's one of the sweetest dogs. She follows me around everywhere. And, oh my god. I couldn't be without her, so I figured I would introduce you guys to Rose because she's probably going to be around in the back of the video while I'm doing this tutorial, so I wanted you guys to see her. I'll let you see her one more time. Say bye to everybody, Rose. Say why? Let's say why? Hmm? <laughs> I hope you guys don't mind the talk through in this video. I just wanted to do a talk through because I wanted to explain certain products to you guys. So I hope you don't mind it. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and sign off. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like it and subscribe. And I'll see you all in my next one. Bye. <laughs> She's so stinking cute. <laughs> Okay, so before we get started, I just really quickly want to say I've already primed my eyes and put tape on. Tape is optional. Um, I have more downturned eyes, so I like to add tape at the end to just create a nice sharp edge, and it also helps lift up the eyes. If you have more downturned eyes, if you just kind of, you could even take a makeup remover wipe and just make your eyeshadow more angled here on the outer corner. It's going to help lift up the eyes, so that's a little tip for you. If you don't have downturned eyes or anything, you don't have to do this step. Um, and for primers for my eyes, I have not found a drugstore eyeshadow primer that I love. Now, this is the only thing that is not drugstore in this video, so if you have a favorite one, let me know in the comments below if you have oily eyelids, which is what my issue is. I have such oily eyelids that even a MAC paint pot can't hold up. Like, I have to use two to make sure everything stays nice and matte and that my eyeshadow does not crease at all. So, if you have a favorite one from the drugstore for oily eyelids, let me know. Or even if you have dry eyelids, just let us know your eyelid type, which kind of sounds weird. <laughs> but leave in the comments below if you have dry eyelids, oily, and what your favorite primer is, just so we can help everybody out, whoever's watching this video. Um, I'm using two higher-end ones, which I hundred and thousand percent recommend so um, if you're wondering which ones that I stand by hundred percent I'll leave them in the description box below so the first shade we're gonna take today is this one by Ulta and it's called Sable this is a great transition shade for more medium to light skin tones if you're darker I would if you're darker than me I wouldn't suggest this just because it's really not super pigmented so it's not gonna show up so I would go up a step above this one I like this one for my skin tone and it has a really nice warm brown shade, which is my favorite. So I'm just going to be putting this into the crease. It's just going to add definition. And if you're really wanting something super quick for the day, you could throw in this in your crease or even your bronzer into the crease. That could honestly be your eyeshadow for the day. But I'm going to do a little bit more since, you know, we're making a whole tutorial out of this. If you guys are wondering, I am going to be doing a video all on brushes soon. I'm going to let you guys know what my favorite ones are, which ones that you should buy. And yeah, I'm just, I'm going to do one very soon for you because it's been highly requested, more requested than I had ever expected it to be. So just keep your eye out for that. Okay, taking the infamous, taking the infamous Maybelline The Nudes palette, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to first take what, like I don't even know what I'm doing quite honest with you. I want to do more of a matte eye. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this shade right here 
And I'm going to put this one all over my lid, but I'm going to leave the inner corner blank. So you'll see what I'm talking about. I'm just going to put this out here on the lid. Take it all the way to the end of the tape if you have tape on. But I'm going to leave this part right here blank. Now this isn't going to be like a crazy cool eye look or anything like that. This is going to be something simple and easy for every day. So again, just putting that on the lid. Um, drugstore shadows, like this palette is not my favorite, but it's hard to come across really awesome eyeshadows at the drugstore. That's probably one of the hardest things to find. Usually everybody can find awesome foundations and things like that, but eyeshadows are definitely hits and misses of the drugstore world. It's just super difficult to find really good ones. Um, other than like Makeup Geek obviously has great ones. I don't have too many of hers, but I know that they're awesome because I have just a few. But like actually at the drugstore, Maybelline, L'Oreal, if you're watching this, when you step up your game because pigmentation is not always there and sometimes they look a little choppy so yeah but this is actually a pretty decent palette I give it that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this Maybelline Quad and Coral Oasis. These by far are the best eyeshadows for pigmentation at the drugstore like seriously they're amazing. Only problem I have with them is a lot of them are just shimmer palettes. And it's not very convenient for people who don't want a completely shimmery eye. Um, I'm personally not the type that loves just a full-out shimmery eyelid. I think it's just a little too much for me. But if you want a shimmery eyeshadow, these are awesome. They have some that do have matte shades in them, but they're kind of hard to come by. I'm going to take this little shimmery shade in the Coral Oasis palette, and I'm going to put this in the inner corner right here. This is just going to really brighten everything up and make you look more awake. So we're just going to apply that in there. It's really pretty. Like these are so stinking pigmented. And blend out the edges of that. Because we just want it to help brighten up. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this shade right here with that same brush. I already started doing this. Um, I'm going to put it right here in the outer corner and a little bit into the crease. So just like this. It's just going to add a little bit more definition. So I'm just going to put that right in there with that same brush, not really being precise. And then I'm going to go in with a clean blending brush in the lighter gray we used right next to it and just blend that out. Blend in the crease on the lid everywhere. Now some people probably wouldn't want to do the gray on the outer half, but for me I just like that extra definition. Um, but for every day you could totally skip this if you wanted to. You don't have to do it. I'm the kind of person where I need a smoky eye in my life. Like I have to. I don't know what it is. I just love like, lighter makeup looks are nice, but I really love a smoky eye. It just makes me so happy. <laughs> Sounds so corny, but it really does. After taking off the tape, this is what you've got. It's just a really easy eye look. Like, so easy. Um, it's basically just blending everything. And all this does is just really add some definition to the eye. I am going to take a little bit more of that shimmer shade and put this in the inner part right here. And then for me... <clears throat> I like to line my upper lash line, so I'm just going to use this NYX 2 Timer. This is really nice. It has a coal um, eyeliner on one side and then a liquid liner on the other. I haven't used this in a minute. I used to love this though. Hopefully, the liquid one's not dried out, but I'm just going to line them. I'm not going to do anything crazy. This is kind of dried out. Usually this is actually like very, very black, but mine's kind of dried out. So I really recommend this one, but right now I'm going to use a BH one, which BH Cosmetics is also very, very affordable. It's also a personal preference on how thick you want your liner. You could do it however thick you want. Um, I, I literally, what I do is I'm like, okay, I'm going to do a thin line. And then I end up messing up. I'm like, okay, we're going to go thick today. <laughs> That's usually how liner goes for me. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the cold side of the, ooh, and I'm going to take the cold side of this NYX liner, and I'm just going to line my upper waterline. This is going to help darken up that lash line, 
And so when you put mascara on, it makes your lashes look fuller and it just looks more complete. Like your makeup looks more put together when you line your upper lash line. So I'm just going to do that now. So today we're going to use a new mascara. Um, I just had these in my drawer and I really wanted to experiment. <laughs> like I have a few from me just shopping and I just bought these. So we're going to experiment and see if these are good. If you wanted to, if you're like me and you just can't go without false lashes, girl, put false lashes on. I'm probably going to put some on after this video. I'm going to try out this Maybelline Lash Sensational one. It says a full fan effect, very black, waterproof. Oh, shoot. This is waterproof. I hate waterproof. The hell, we're gonna use it anyways. One mascara I absolutely adore from the drugstore is the L'Oreal Voluminous Miss Mega. So good, but I wanted to try something different today. So I'll just have to get my good makeup remover out tonight. I like this packaging though, I think it's really cute. It's just like chic. I do love Maybelline The Rocket too. Ooh, the mascara is so good. I can work with it. Not bad. I actually like it. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay, so now we got the eyes done. They're just nice and light, nothing too crazy. And um, the eyeshadows just aren't that pigmented, so they're not going to be like, bam, in your face like an Urban Decay eyeshadow palette would or Lorac. Moving on to primer. I haven't ever talked about this, but I've used it a couple times and I actually really like it. doesn't necessarily focus on keeping you matte. This is the CoverGirl and Olay Simply Ages ageless serum primer and I've tried it a couple times and I really do like it I think it makes my skin super smooth and I don't know I just like randomly picked it up one day and I was like oh okay it's actually pretty decent so it's a little bit thicker of course that's like too much but we're gonna work with it um, it doesn't necessarily keep you matte I just like how smooth it makes my face so we're just gonna apply that all over and then, on top of that, it does make my skin a little red though, so. But now I'm going to use the new foundations from L'Oreal. These are the Infallible Pro Matte 24 Hour Foundations. I like these. I like these a lot. It's been hard to find a good drugstore foundation that I'm just like, oh my gosh, I need this in my life. But I'm really, really loving these so far. I think they're great. So I'm going to apply mine with a Kabuki brush. And this is in the color... Fresh Beige. I think this one's going to match my self-tanner best. I have Fresh Beige and Sun Beige. This one's pretty yellow, but with concealer and powder and everything, we'll make it work. I think I would even like this with a beauty blender, to be quite honest with you. So it's definitely more of a medium coverage foundation. Like, I have to go in with concealer, but I, I do really like it. I think it has a nice finish. It is a lightweight finish and it doesn't feel sticky on the skin, like it dries really quickly. So I definitely recommend blending it in fairly quickly, um, but I like it. For concealer, <clears throat> I kind of vary with concealers, especially from the drugstore, but today I'm going to actually be using the HD concealer from NYX. A really great spot concealer is this one from NYX as well. This is the Conceal Correct Contour Kit. Um, this is a dupe for the MAC Pro and Conceal palette, and it's literally an exact dupe. Um, the shades are just a little bit different, but, but it's basically the same thing. You have the pink undertones on this side, the more yellow undertones on this side, and you can just experiment with it. And if you have a hard time finding like your perfect concealer, I highly recommend palettes like this because they're awesome. And you can also use them to contour and stuff, but I use them to mix and match, especially if I'm self-tanning. So I love them. But for underneath the eyes, I'm going to use this HD one from NYX. I think this one's a little light for me, but we're rolling with the punches here, people. And um, this is in the color beige. So I'm just going to take it and do a couple strokes underneath my eyes. Because this is going to highlight and just bring everything together. You don't have to do all of this since we are doing it every day. But I like to highlight my face, especially if my foundation is a little too dark. Because it will just help lighten up the face and bring it all together. I'm going to blend that out with a beauty blender. See how it really lightens up the foundation? But it really brightens up the face and makes you look a lot more awake. Which is really important, I feel like, for makeup. For me, if I'm doing my makeup, I like to do do it all or nothing at all. Um, so I like to really make sure I highlight. Highlighting and contouring, all of that is like my favorite thing to do ever. Because it just really makes your face stand out. Cheekbones stand out. Everything just looks so much better when you do highlighting and contouring. So I'm just going to take my foundation brush 
and blend out the edges. Look it in the viewfinder to see how it looks. Not too shabby. Great concealer though. I used to hate this concealer. And then I started to love it. <laughs> and I like to take this concealer in the inner corners of my eyes because they get really dark right in here. So I just tap it in there and it really helps bring it all together. Then I'm also, just for my personal preference, I am going to take it on my nose. Where did I put it? nose is a little bit bigger and I like to highlight the center of it just to really make it slender out. So that's a tip if you have more of a wide nose like I do. This will really help bring out the center of the nose and just help it make it look a little bit smaller. I've been doing this forever now and I just, I cannot do my makeup without doing the center of my nose. To set my under eyes and my concealer, I don't really set my face anymore. Um, it's just not something that I do all the time. I usually just blot my face if I'm out and about. But to set my concealer, I'm going to use this one from Wet n Wild. It's the Take On The Day Mattifying Powder. I don't apply a lot of this. I'm sorry, I'm trying to find my brush. I apply just a little bit to set that concealer because you want to make sure you set everything so it does not crease. And this is a translucent powder. So it's not going to add any coverage, it's just going to set that makeup and I really like it. I've actually been using this for a while, even just to blot my skin. This is the BH Cosmetics Bombshell Bronze Bronzer. I used to use one um, from NYC, it was the darkest bronzer that they had. It's amazing, definitely, definitely, definitely get it. I can't find it, I think it expired and I threw it away to be quite honest with you. But I'm going to use this one from BH Cosmetics, like I've said before, they are more affordable. Um, they're just online, but they're more affordable. This is in the shade Diva. And I'm going to put this on the high points of my face. I told you guys I really like to bronze, contour. That's like my, my favorite thing about makeup is working with the face. You can bring out your features with makeup. And it's just all about techniques and what you know and where you place product. So just to me, it's so fascinating for face. I don't know. I am going to add a little bit of more definition just underneath my cheekbones. I'm going to do a little bit of contouring because I like for my cheekbones to kind of stand out more. Um, a great one for that is this NYX Blush in Taupe. And I just like this a lot. It's just a nice ashy color and it's great to put underneath the cheekbone and it just really makes everything pop. Like if you were to use more of a warm tone bronzer, it doesn't look as natural as the more ashy tones because ashy color is going to give more of that shadow which is obviously going to look more natural than having a warm bronzer just stuck in the contour line. So that's why I really like this one. It's awesome and it blends really, really well and it just looks so natural. So I'm just going to place this in my contour area and blend it a little bit upwards and you can see the difference right there that it makes. And it's not like super, super noticeable. It's just adding a little bit more definition and really lifts up that cheekbone. By far the best thing to contour with, in my opinion, um, at the drugstore. I don't think I've been able to find the taupe shade. I think I found this one online at cherryculture.com. So if you can't find it in store, go to cherryculture.com. They have a bunch of drugstore stuff, even discontinued stuff that you can pick up from them. We are going to skip highlighter. There's some good ones from Physicians Formula, but to be quite honest with you, I'm not going to sit here and act like I have an all-time favorite one at the drugstore because I don't. So I'm going to go in with this blush from NYX. It's called Solstice, and since I'm not using a highlighter, this one does have shimmer in it, so it's still going to give me that glow and that healthy look to my skin. And I love it because this is more warm, and I like it with the kind of gray, cool-toned eye. I like, I like mixing warm and cool tones. I just think it's fun. I don't know. It's makeup. You ain't got to do it if you don't want to do it. You can use a cool tone blush if you want to, but I just like more warm. So I'm going to just apply this to my cheeks, and you can see it just kind of warms up the skin. It's a really pretty kind of peachy bronze shade, and I love it. Oh, I love that color. And then I'm going to take a duo fiber brush and just blend that out. Now for eyebrows, I'm going to be using this NYX Eyebrow Gel. I really like this a lot. This came out not too long ago, I believe. Um, but this is what I'm going to be using today for my eyebrows because I just really like it. It is more of a gel, so when you put it on your brows, you kind of have to work quickly with it. And you want to make sure you kind of hurry up and fill in your brows because it does set fairly fast. But once it sets, like it's there. It's not going anywhere. It's just going to keep your brow hairs in place all day. Um, the color I'm using is 
chocolate, by the way. It's a little bit more of a lighter brown, more ashy as well. You are just a jangling, honey. Those little collars. This is just such an easy product to work with. Like, I love this so much. Probably the best drugstore. It's definitely the best drugstore brow product out there. So that's one brow done. Brows seriously make a makeup look like it is insane. But I don't know what it is. I feel like I can get them done pretty quickly now. Um, and I love the way that they look. It's just, I don't know. Maybe I've gotten used to doing my brows. They used to take me forever. If I, when I used the Anastasia Brow Wiz, it literally took me years <laughs> to fill in my eyebrows, I feel like. Now what we're going to do is just set our brows in place. I'm using this. You don't have to do this step because the next brow gel does a really good job, but um, I'm just going to do it today. This is the L'Oreal Brow Stylus Plumper in, ooh, honey, medium to dark. You know, they put this thing like microscopic down here. You can't ever tell the colors. So I'm just going to run this through my brows really quickly. Finishing up these eyes, I'm going to take the coal side again from this NYX liner. And I'm just going to line my waterline. I'm going to take a flat brush like this. I don't know why I'm showing you on the nose. But I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to take the darker shade in here, like this darker gray right here. I'm going to put this close to my lash line if possible. This is going to help just define that bottom lash line a little bit more. I'm going to connect this to the shadow on the outer half as well. Just to kind of bring it all in. Train. Then I'm going to go in with the lighter shade right next to it that we used all over the lid. I'm just going to blend this out just so there's not like a harsh line underneath there. Now me personally, I like smoking out my lower lash line. Um, I just, I like it. I don't know. Feel free to not do it. Um, but now I'm going to take the cream shade right here. I'm going to put this underneath my brow just to again highlight. So I'm going to take that. It is a matte shade so I like that. For this look just love me a matte brow bone highlight i need lashes in my life okay i'm going to quickly apply lashes i'm using these from ardell they're the glamour wispies i'll be right back so you can see lashes just kind of make everything blah blah boom i'm a blah blah boom kind of person i just had to make it happen so i'm taking this taunt taking this lip liner from jordana called tawny i'm gonna line my lips with this it makes them look fuller and it also helps keep your lip product on for a lot longer. And it also helps to keep it from like feathering outside the lines. After that, I'm going to apply one of my favorite lipsticks of all times. This is the Wet n Wild Fergie Daily Lipstick. It's just a nude. Very nude. And then to kind of dark, deepen it up, I'm going to take this L'Oreal Paris Nude Ballet. I really love this one. This is a great little lip gloss, and I love the applicator. So this is the full face using drugstore makeup. I really hope you guys liked it. It was just super requested, and I wanted to do it for you. Um, there's not like a specific technique or anything. I just figured I would show you guys some products that I love and show you that you can get a full face with a drugstore product. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please give it a thumbs up if you did like it, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye! Gave me a chance, I would take it. It's a shot in the door, but I'll make it.